Stargazers 1144 scale resin model kits of the Titov C as seen briefly in the most background of scenes and footage of which docking with the space station was cut from the film and the Orion 3 space plane that Haywood Floyd takes up for the space station. I combined the two boxes some time ago to save on space and all the parts are pretty much uh, relatively and easily distinguished from each other. I've done a review of these kits before so I'll definitely have a look around for that. The Stargazer does deserve lighting but the Titov is solid and can't be lit. Excellent, nice straightforward for the Stargazer. I'll be doing the second and this really begs to be lit. And over here with the Titov, again, really nice, simple, one sheet instructions, five pieces. I do need to separate the wings from each other. So those are Stargazer. Those are Orion as well as this. Leaving this big guy and this big guy. And over here we got the two sides and the engine piece. There's some nice details in there, holy crow. It would be nice to light these, but I don't know that it would be possible. So I had been thinking that the T-Top here was solid cast, and clearly and obviously it's not. It is a really rough fit though. Alright, so I lost battery in the last few minutes and basically I was just checking to see if the pin holes here on the wings lined up with the body and they don't quite. And I'm now debating whether to drill out the windows and light this up. However, as you can see here from the front alone, that's pretty much would have to be very delicately cut and uh, lots of space. I don't know. That could be really beautiful looking, however, it would be very difficult and very delicate. I'll probably drill some of these RCS holes as well. Really nice details around all the uh, cowling, fanning. I don't know what that kind of detail is called, but it looks cool. And the passenger windows as well, though I don't have an interior passenger compartment. And then, of course, there's these magnificent engine details going on in here. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Would it be possible to shave all of this side down until I just barely hit those? Could I design my own and cut these out entirely? If I want to do this fast, then no, no chance. It's something to think about, though. There's certainly enough room inside this model to house everything needed for the lights. And power would be very minimal. However, there is a lot of gouging to do. How good it would look from the outside, that's tough to say actually. Nice work on the paneling here. Of course there are also uh, wingtip lights. How I would do that, I'm not quite sure. I'd hate not to light it up and let the chance go by because this is essentially a once in a build kind of thing. But to light this, while I could possibly recreate the interior engine details to a really good degree, I'd still have to gut out from the back everything that's in there now nice and smoothly 
and then get a really perfect fit on the replacements. However, the replacements could extend as if they were real mechanisms into the body here because there's enough space on the back to allow it. As to the windows, the panes themselves, the depth of them is pretty much set in the resin right there. So I would have to drill through the fronts first without getting any damage to those in-between spots then gouge out from the back to get a reasonable amount of space. Then potentially create an interior for it. Same goes for the front windows. Cut them out as squares. Hopefully don't overcut or crack or break. Then gouge out from the back until they're really nice and thin. Very, very difficult, very delicate work. Can be done. Is it worth trying? That's the question. Because if you screw it up, then it's essentially ruined. And there are decals for the windows as well. As to the Orion, this definitely begs to be lit. The windows are hollow already. There's space along the ceiling for some LED tape to make it simple. Unfortunately, the exterior hull is part of the interior piece here, so you can't put any lights behind it. So all that will have to be painted first, then the LED tape put in there, and then, uh, yeah, the seats as well. First thing though, I gotta wash all this. I'm gonna soak it all in Simple Green for 24 hours, scrub it clean, wash it with soap, and then uh, these will be ready 24 hours after that. So even though I'll be starting construction with the Titov, I want to take a look at the Stargazer first because this is a really nice piece of model here. It's designed to be lit, so I will be lighting it. There is no way to light the engines, and you'll see the details later as I get to those. A battery could be housed back here. However, I'll be running wires into a plaque that this is mounted on. There's a ceiling here. There's a fully detailed ceiling that needs to be painted. Over here, there's a back cabin. You'll note that the uh, door back there was cast so thinly that there's a hole in it. So my only option really is to cut the entire door out and put a stewardess walking through it. There's two seats on the side, plus two seats for the pilot and co-pilot, and a control panel that gets stuffed into the forward nose, which itself then gets attached to all of this. It's a dual set of wings, top and bottom, with this as a front, and these panels here actually go under this piece, so that when you see it from the back, there's a pretty cool effect going on. It measures out. Let's see, it starts at uh, 28 and a half and goes down to 10 and a half, so that's 18 inches. Or 28 to 74 centimeters is uh, 50, 47 centimeters long. And then there's an antenna, a double antenna, that gets stuck on the back of that to uh, send it well over two feet, or close to two feet at least. The Titoff is a similar length, though a little shorter. And the wingspan is going to be just inside of the Pan Am. So there's going to be a bit of painting with this. There will be a single red LED here in the cabin somewhere. It may be way in the front. It may be tucked back here. I'm going to have to put an elevator in back, carve out that door, and I've just purchased 12 pieces of 1 44th scale figures. It should be here within a week or so. So I can get a lot of prep done before those get here. A few of them I'm going to have to cut in half because none of them are sitting. So uh, there will be a little work to do. And over here... It's probably going to be running LED tape along the ceiling at a very low voltage. 
so that it doesn't blow out any occupants in there. The windows have to be carved out of all the flash and cleaned. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a really fun piece. There is some preparatory work to do, like cutting off chunks like that. Those are all over the place, uh, and randomly so. So a little preliminary work before anything else happens, and then some pieces of this can be glued together, some can't. I'll do what I can as we go. But let's start off with the TTOF C. So that's it for the first installment on these. Thanks for watching. See ya.